Hey everybody, uh, my name is Andy and I'm going to talk to you guys today about uh, network testing. Uh, I have been working in network, uh, with networking uh, systems for a while now. I've been doing, you know, switches and troubleshooting and Ethernet cable runs and that sort of thing for a while. And uh, when I started out, uh, I, I, I knew I needed a tester and uh, my work provided me an ideal brand tester. And I kind of got hooked on this thing. It was a really nice tester. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one of those. Uh, I had to give that one back when I was leaving my um, previous job. But uh, I, I was forced to go and purchase one of my own. And uh, when I did, I bought one of these. And uh, I'm sure you've seen them uh, before. But this is a VDB Scout Pro. Uh, it's a VDB 500-053. Uh, to be exact, and uh, this this was a really handy tool, and uh, it does qu quite a bit. Uh, uh, it actually has a built-in uh, telephone, or R I think it's RJ11 or RJ12 port, uh, built-in RJ45, um, and then of course coax. Uh, and of course, right now I don't have it in there, but usually I'll keep a little coupler in there so that I can connect a coax cable uh, and just protect the tip of that thing. But uh, very handy. It has a, a little test module on the back of it. Uh, it's not an ID test tester, but uh, just just you know, let you run your test. Comes with it. Uh, never thought much about it. Just always assume you know you buy this, you get that, no problem. Um, the more I looked into these things, the more I kind of thought, hey, it'd be really nice to have um, some more of these little testers. And uh, I thought you know maybe I could get something a little nicer at the same time. Well, that wasn't exactly as easy as I thought. Uh, um, of course, uh, you know, having bought a, a Klein before, I thought, let's go, let's go look at Klein again, see what, what the next thing up is. I mean, I, I know a lot of people who do that, you know, you buy a Craftsman, tool and you just think well let me just get something a little bit better from craftsman you know before i bought the cheap one let me buy the good one well that is exactly what i, tr I did and and I'm, I'm not um sad about it so i went out and bought this uh vdb commander and it's a uh, vdb 501-097 that's what it says on the back of it actually uh this is really sweet and uh i I am super happy with this little guy. It does a lot of cool tricks, um, but it seemed like maybe there wasn't a little. It wasn't coherent. So, so like you've got the smaller Scout um, here, and you know maybe the color scheme's the same. But when you flip them up, you go, "Hey, what happened to my telephone jack?" And I know you can plug um, a telephone cord into an R, RJ45 connector and you know it'll fit <laughs> uh, but even when you read the manual on this one it says don't do that uh, only use our cable um, which has like a I think it's RJ12 uh, end on it and uh, that'll keep you from damaging the pins inside of their connector so eh, why didn't they just do what they did before, right? You're thinking this is Klein, and this is Klein, so why wouldn't they do that? Well, right after I got this one, I, I went to find more of the little test and map modules. Because I knew that they had test and maps, and so I wanted to see what I could get. Uh, but when I start digging, <laughs> Real quickly, I, I noticed that there was another company out there that made something almost identical to this, and uh, it was T3 Innovations, um, and they actually make a, what do you call this, uh, cable prowler is what they call it, uh, and the only big difference is it's blue instead of yellow. Um, so that's that was interesting and then I also noticed all the accessories and then I started looking closer at the screenshots and noticed that the screens were almost identical so um, you can see this cool screen here maybe you can't I don't know um, but yeah I had... 
Um, but yeah, it has exactly the same screen as, uh, as the Klein did. So um, <laughs> I sent an email to one of the customer service reps and said, hey, can I use something that they call the TT-108? number uh, with this system and they said yes that's all they said it took them a little while to say it but eventually they said yes of course you know um, because this is a t3 innovations product not a Klein tool this is I mean this isn't any surprise a lot of things out there are like that I know Bosch is a reseller of a lot of Chinese stuff and and DeWalt and many other companies so why not Klein, right? Um, so, no problem there. Um, not too upset, but uh, if you do decide to go out and buy a new uh, testing tool and you are a Klein guy like myself, uh, check into this. Uh, T3 Innovations makes uh, something called a cable prowler. <laughs> and what I really wanted, and I didn't know I wanted until after I did all this investigating, they also make something called a net prowler. Uh, which has just a couple more additions to this tool. Uh, one being which they can actually run DHCP, um, which means um, which means that not only can I test my pairs, um, but once I plug, um, say, my cable into a switch, and I want to confirm that the actual um, network packets are getting across to to where I'm going to I can actually plug one of these things in from from T3 um, and it will actually pull an IP address proving to me of course that hey um, this thing works uh, you know I've got a good network connectivity if I plug a computer up to it it would actually you know work as well so something to think about uh, you know this little guy here actually can t tell me um, that I'm actually connected so it can do a test and it'll say, okay, well, you've got uh, 10 megabits, 100 megabits, uh, or, you know, 1,000. So it can actually do that, which is pretty good. And then to me, that says, all right, it's probably going to work. Uh, so I'm not going to bother, you know, going any further to test this thing. It'll also tell me, of course, that the Ethernet uh, cable is terminated properly. So, so there's your box. This is what you're going to get. Um, when you open this up. Now this is about a $600 tool. It's a really good tool. It's built durably. You can tell it's got some quality in it. Uh, they of course put a rubber housing around it. But it does. it's not without its little flaws. The first one that you're going to notice here is that um, it only comes with one testing map. Uh, let me lift this up here so you guys can see it a little better. Um, but you know you get a bunch of mapping tools. So these are the mapping tools right here. And uh, you can see each one of them's numbered. You take these, stick them in the wall outlet after you wire up a house. Um, and then you can map and, and determine, you know, where the outlets are run, running to. And then of course you can um, terminate all of them, label all your wall plates. And that's a really, really quick way to get your wall plates numbered so that you can identify everything without having to have this tool, you know, around to tell, you know, where something is or a tone tool or anything like that. It also comes with the ability to do um, coax. Let's see here. Not sure if you can see it or not, but uh, there they are. See, there's little numbers on every one of them. Same deal. Um, you get about 20 of these. And uh, you just take them, plug them in around your house, and then uh, when you want to test or map out the, the coax runs that you made back to the main switch room or where, wherever, um, you know, media, structured media cabinet, doesn't matter. Um, that's, that's there for you. You got what you need. Now, those things don't do any real testing. Um, they're not completely useless for testing, but they don't actually um, like allow the tool to do a little loopback test on each pair and determine whether or not you wired it right. So that's what this is for. So this is called the test -a map and uh, of course this is the reason why I started doing my research, is that um, I, you need these little guys if you want to do mapping 
and testing at the same time. Uh, which, why wouldn't you? You know, you just bought this big tool here. That seems like a no-brainer that you'd want it to do both. And some of the kits that you can buy um, from Klein, I do believe, come with, you know, maybe about six of these things or something like that. Can't remember right now, but anyway, uh, my kit only came with one. So I just thought, well, let me just go buy a test and map from Klein for the, you know, a couple of them. Like, you know, they got 20 of these. I mean, how much is it going to cost for 20 of these? But I couldn't find it. And uh, the closest I could find, I think, is from the, the T3 Innovation. They do, um, they do like a an eight pack, I believe, or these, or I think that's right. So, um, Anyway, might be a better possibility to get it from them. But let me show you what these little guys can do um, and why they're handy. And uh, I'll also show you one of these guys in action and what you can expect with it using this tool. All right, so let's do that now. So, all right, so let's just take this little guy here. And I got about uh, 23 feet of network cable. So not plugged into anything, it's just laying in the floor there so and I'll tilt you down here so you can see that so all right so you got you know 23 feet of cable there we got our tester here so all right let's plug this in all right so now we're hooked up turn this thing on all right so this is our our, our main screen our home screen and we're going to go over to the little green testing all right let's see what she said on here Okay, so right now, um, I don't know if you can read that or not. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Hmm. Let's see if you can read that. Yeah, you can sort of read it now. Um, but you can see that it's, it's measuring at about 23 feet long. Um, and it's giving a sort of an orange check mark. And it's saying pass in orange. So what it's saying to me right now, this is what you call like a soft test. Um, so it's trying to say the cable's working. Um, I don't see a short right now, but I also have not determined whether or not these this is a, a, a really good cable because I don't have a test module on the end of it. So all right, let's see what happens when we plug a test module in. All right, so now we got the testing module on. All right, so we're going to pick this up again and see if we can get to focus before we run this test, but let's see if it'll do it. All right, so here's how we test. We're just going to hit check mark. Boom. All right, so now, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the check mark's green now. And uh, something else it's also done, it, it's identified it as ID number one. All right, so... Now from this test, and I'm sorry, I had to turn it at an angle to get it to pick it up, but now I know for certain that, uh, you know, the cable's good, test is passed, and uh, we've got a good cable here, so they should get an internet signal from that. Now this cable right now is not plugged into anything, so if I wanted to actually see um, what would happen if, uh, you know, like I went ahead and terminated it into a switch, we'll go over here. Let's see if you can see this, but it will arrow over to PoE. Um, and you can hear it click. It actually has the ability to do a real test of power over Ethernet. I don't have a power over Ethernet switch right now, and I'm not plugged up to one, so I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, so it says disabled. And you can see it's trying to check compatibility. So let's go ahead and plug this up to a switch instead of, instead of the test module. So I just happen to have switch here this is just a regular old Linksys and uh, I got it plugged in you can see the power lights on so I'm just gonna plug this up to any of the ports all right so now we're plugged in and there's no activity because this switch isn't plugged up to anything except for my tester all right I don't know if you it'll stay like that but let's go ahead and test this now so right. 